what's up guys so today i am going to tell you if you should buy a gaming console or a gaming pc so to start we're going to talk about budget so game consoles like the ps5 and xbox are getting expensive and microsoft has raised the prices on xboxes pcs are generally expensive but if you've seen Osnum's broke versus pro series you would know you don't need a ton of money and to make a really good gaming PC e slash sale. Well, they proved that, and it's really cool. I think you should watch it. So, game consoles give you a simpler plug-and-play experience, but all of those consoles have exclusive games. But th and a thing with customization, it isn't really a thing there. In Xboxes, they have special editions. PS5, you can remove the plates to make it a different color yeah. but often that was deep and gaming PCs you can customize them 100% your way and there was a short often it was made that might that's that was saying that the PlayStation Store might be coming to PC not everyone notices this but gaming PCs are getting more and more powerful and you can choose their components like your CPU and your GPU if you want an extremely powerful PC you can spend a lot of money, or you can spend less money and still have a powerful PC. But note, you still need a monitor, headset, keyboard, mouse, controller, microphone, microphone's optional if you're going to stream your gameplay, and more. But, these, but those are just the peripherals. And, and you might be thinking, when I waste a lot of money on that, because you don't have to make, buy the stuff that ex that's expensive. You can make a PC that can run at 4K at 30 FPS. And you can take your PC with you on the go if you build a portable setup. Or you can buy a gaming laptop like the Razer Blade 18. That gives you a similar experience if you have a big budget. I said big I say big budget because the Razer Blade 18, the laptop I suggest, is expensive. But if you have a big budget, you can buy expensive gear from, compa from companies like Razer. I do suggest actually buying from Razer because their stuff is pre from what I've heard premium. And if you have, even if you have a small budget, you can still buy stuff from Razer, but not like everything. The peripherals you can also buy from companies like HyperX and consoles, but but consoles have big game lot libraries and backwards compatibility. But the library, not as big as a PC. They have very small support for mod. And if your game console like stops working, you have you have two options: or buy a new one, or get it fixed. But with the PC, if your if your components are getting old, or even stuff related, you can swap out the components. I think you should buy slash build a PC. Yeah, and if you think you'll be missing out on the con those console exclusive games, I think you can find an emulator for them, or you can have both, a console and a PC. I just suggest having one of them, because that will be too expensive having both. Well, you also need some speakers if you're go if you're using NAR wireless headphones. If you're using wired headphones, I don't think you need that. And decorations. If you buy slash build a PC, you work. You it'll work to edit videos and stream your gameplay. But to do that, we'll need good frame rates because you don't want a PC that's choppy and low quality. One thing I suggest is buying a gaming router or a portable router if you have a portable set. And one thing that's essential for a PC is an OS like Windows or Linux. So, if, if you don't know how to install an OS, I'll tell you. First, you need a bootable USB drive with the OS of your choice. <laughs> and on the left, first step. On another computer, download the operating system's media creation tool from the official website, like the Windows 11 media creation tool from Microsoft, and then connect a flash drive of at least 8 gigabytes to the computer, and note, the process will erase all of the data on the USB drive. Run the tool and follow the prompts to create the bootable USB drive with the, the OS installation files. 
Step 2. Insert the bootable USB drive to the PC. Turn on the PC. So if the PC doesn't automatically start the installer, restart it and press the key to enter the BIOS setup or boot menu. Common keys include F2, F10, F11, or F12, F12, or delete. The specific key is often shown in the startup screen in the BIOS menu to change the boot order. Make the USB drive the first boot device or select the USB drive from a one-time boot menu. Save the changes and, ex and exit the BIOS. The PC will restart and should begin the OS installation from the U USB drive. Step 3. Install the OS. Follow the initial on-screen prompt to select your language, time zone and keyboard layout. Enter your product key, if you have one, or so I don't have a product key to enter it. To enter it later, there are uh, one prompt and for installation type. Select custom or install Windows Windows only. Delete all the existing partitions on the drive where you want and to install the OS to ensure a clean installation, then select the unallocated space and click New to have Windows create the necessary partitions or click Next to have the installer handle it. And cl click Next to begin the installation. The OS will copy 7 times and will copy files and might restart your PC several times. And step 4. After the installation restarts, the PC will boot from the hard drive, and you'll be guided through the final setup and steps to complete it. the setup by configuring in your region, region keyboard layout, and connecting to a, a network. When prompted, create a local administrator account or sign in with a Microsoft account. A tip, consider disabling unnecessary data collection and privacy toggles during the setup. Once you reach the desktop, install the necessary drivers for, for your hardware, especially your graphics card. Install any software you need. So, I actually think ink, you should build a PC, but it all depends on your choice. If you want a more powerful option, you can make a bu it can match your budget, build or buy a PC. If you want there's just a plug and play experience with subscriptions and uh, game and console exclusive games, buy a game console. So guys, this is it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button to see all my new videos. Okay, so thanks for watching. Peace.